What I'm going to do here quickly is that I'm going to actually start first my bot. So this is basically a bot framework implementation using the Yo Teams, which is working behind of the scenes and then submitting back on the Microsoft Teams channel again. There's multiple ways of doing this and, and multiple ways of making things happen. So that's the back end, which is hosted uh, in the Azure side. Um, and I'm using the Yo Teams because, well, um, it, it's definitely uh, awesome, awesome uh, generator for implementing stuff. Now, the second thing that I have here, where is it? Where is it? Uh, it's that one. It's my web part. And this web part implementation is already actually available uh, in the SP Dev Solutions repository in a GitHub. I uh, will add a link uh, to the uh, blog post, which goes live related on the recording today. And the, the only downside right now is that the task modules are not yet supported even in targeted release talents. Uh, so you cannot precisely do what I'm doing right now, but that that uh, support will be enabled relatively soon. But what we have here is a really cool solution, enterprise grade uh, solution, where we obviously the same, we're using the same, let's say implementation, which we used in the past as well. We have the leads management system, the leads themselves can be coming from your, even from your on-premises system, where you could hit a web API, which is hosted in Azure securely, and then expose the leads and you can work on them. We kind of enhanced the least implementation uh, slightly. So we even included here, pretty cool uh, Microsoft Craft uh, integration, because it's all about using the best of the Microsoft 365 world, using the SharePoint, using the Teams, using Microsoft Craft, using um, the other areas as well, and Bot Framework as well. But in this case, this is a relatively simple thing, but again, I can do something like, hey, about that lead, I want a reminder on that lead uh, on Monday uh, to be created. And we're using Microsoft Craft behind of the scenes. It's not yet using right now, to be honest, the to-do uh, API. It's gonna use the to-do API on Monday. So we're updating the code for that one. But what basically that happened in the here is that if I go to my planner, I can see that I it created, generated a task for me to review the lead DG 1000 uh, on the, well, on next Monday on 25th of May. So pretty cool setup uh, from that perspective. Now, we already have been having the support of having uh, personal applications um, and the leads application can is a multi-tap personal application. So you can have SharePoint framework implemented multi-tap uh, applications, even with a bot, because well, the bot itself is not about SharePoint framework, that's bot framework, but the worst it can be a part of the solution and you can tie all of those in. And you could have a settings tab here where you can then configure what's what's the leads, what are the leads which are super interesting for you. Now, the new thing which is really gonna be released in 1.11 is then the messaging extension or the task module, whatever they nowadays call that um, terminology. I'm not super familiar with the terminology and teams. Well, kind of, I am, but anyway. So the whole point here is that I can actually start functionalities like I can do uh, sync to teams and then I we show a functionality based on that particular uh, feature. You can also start a functionality. Teams, go away. There we go. We can start start a functionality like leads uh, in this case. Um, and this is the task module, if that's the right terminology for this one. And then this is actually coming for, as an implementation, but you can talk back on the teams as well. So we can select here, for example, game controller 3300. And that's actually then, oh my God. Uh, I'm going to actually fix that one in a second. I'm going to go and update my NROC uh, implementation. Forgot about that one. That's good because now you have clear steps on how could I have to do that. So I'm going to go to my manifest. Sorry for this one. Dun, 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 and no, you're not going to have control. And I'm going to go in here and I'm going to save that one. There we go. So there's my NROC uh, URL so that our bot is working properly uh, back to the channel where we are. So it takes a while to actually refresh that uh, URL, but let's go to the sales channel. Let's try it one more time. I can do the task uh, task view. I can select the lead and we want to talk about this lead with somebody in this channel. Scenario kind of makes sense. Let's talk about the game controller so I can actually take that one. What happens behind of the scenes is that this is now then added as an adaptive card to the channel uh, using the bot behind of the scenes. So now this way we can then start um, talking about uh, that particular discu discussion and uh, discussion on the lead which came from the LOB system. 
So there we go. And we have pretty nice setup related on the enterprise level solution where we use uh, Microsoft Graph, we use the LOB Web API integration securely in Azure, Azure Function, we use adaptive cards, we use the bots and everything else as a kind of collective implementation. So that's actually pretty, pretty cool uh, implementation. But that's, I know I'm rushing. And by the way, if people are interested on, on actually doing a end-to-end -end demo in these community calls around this solution, let us know in a chat, um, but for this particular call, uh, I just wanted to impress you on what we can do actually as a SharePoint framework solution. Like we can do a multi-tap personal application. We can do a pretty cool stuff uh, in here as well. And then we'll come back with a more additional guidance later on this one.